The design I have chosen from the Museum of Modern Arts What Was Good Design exhibition is Greta Magnussen Grossman. Greta Grossman was born on July 21st, 1906 in Helsingborg, Sweden. Grossman completed a one-year woodworking apprenticeship in Helsingborg and was awarded a scholarship to Stockholm's esteemed Konsfak Arts Institution, where she studied furniture, textiles and ceramics design. In 1933, Grossman was awarded second prize for furniture design by the Stockholm Craft Association, which made her the first woman to receive an award in that category and propelled her development as a designer. She was the first woman in Sweden to open a furniture store and workshop called Studio in Stockholm in 1933 with classmate Erik Ulrich from Konsvag Arts Institution, which was a remarkable achievement at a time where both the furniture industry and the world of architecture was strictly male-dominated. Grossman represented a strong link between European design and California modernism, as her and her husband, Billy Grossman, a jazz band leader, immigrated to Los Angeles in 1940 after Greta had already proven herself as a renowned designer in Sweden. Greta took numerous commissions from her previous store studio. This allowed for the successful opening of a second studio on Rodeo Drive, California, called Magnuson Grossman Studio. Her work became well known in America through the 1950s and 60s and became part of the American elite and counted Greta Carbo, Ingrid Bergman and Frank Sinatra among her clients. She was also featured frequently in John Intenza's Art and Architecture magazine. Greta's modern aesthetic designs appealed especially to the growing demographic of single career-minded women. Pieces such as the Cobra Lamp, designed in 1950, and her 1952 desk, with storage design for Glen of California, have become icons of Californian modern design. In the 1950s, Grossman taught industrial design courses at the University of California, Los Angeles, and at the Arts Center School in Los Angeles. She retired from design and architecture in the late 1960s. Grossman also designed 14 homes which portrayed her creativity and brilliance between 1949 and 1959. These homes were frequently balanced perfectly on the edges of hillsides overlooking a canyon with magnificent views through curtain walls of glass. She would live on in each of them until they were sold. At least 10 of these homes are still standing and were crafted with classic modern materials such as steel and stone and often featured rich woods. In the late 1940s, Magnuson des designed a groundbreaking and successful line of lamps for Barker Brothers, later produced by Ralph O. Smith. These were among the first lamps to employ bullet shapes, directional shades and flexible arms. These lamps were included in the Good Design exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. The Museum of Modern Art focused on Dieter Ram's 10 Principles of Good Design when it selected pieces for the exhibition, and Grossman's Cobra lamp resembled many of these principles. The copper lamp adheres to the principle good design is unobtrusive as it fulfills its purpose without being anything spectacular. This is done through the sleek aluminium and enameled steel materials used to make it a stylish design but not over the top. As a result, this allows the lamp to blend into its surroundings effortlessly without it drawing too much attention. The way the copper lamp sits in a room unobtrusively also ties in with the principle good design is as little design as possible. This is demonstrated through the base of the lamp, which is very small and doesn't take up much space wherever it sits. The thin aluminium plated stand that supports the light itself is also very minimal in design and almost goes unnoticeable, blending into, into its surroundings, creating the vision that the light is just floating in midair. The Cobra lamp also adheres to good design being long lasting, as the materials steel and aluminium are very durable and strong, unlike fashionable materials such as leather. Its rather small design also adds to it being long-lasting, as it's unlikely to get in the way of anything or anyone that could damage it. The flexibility of the lamp's arms means it can be bent in all directions, which makes it unable to be snapped or broken. Through Greta's brilliant design and use of stylish materials, the lamp is also very aesthetically pleasing. 
The small base of the lamp combined with the shiny aluminium stand holding up a nicely curved and round shade makes it a rather beautiful piece to any setting in a home and appeals to the eye of the person easily. What I have learnt from studying Greta Grossman's work is that good design can be more effective with as little design as possible compared to being over the top, which is what Grossman does to a lot of her pieces, especially the Cobra lamp. I believe I'll try to implement this more throughout my works in the future to create more effective and appealing designs. Grossman's designs are still popular today because they are, quite simply, good design.